TXT Track Time. I'm your girl, Tam. And I'm your girl, T. The quote-unquote elite track athlete everyone loves to hate is trending again. I mean, at this point, I feel like singing. Welcome to Jam Rock. Camp what it comes them camp out. Pupona, we need a fat back. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's I know, right? Serious. This story is so crazy. Let's get serious. Let's forget the thumbs and the weed and all of that. Let's so, forget the weed for sure. <laughs> the big question is, is Shakiri the elite U.S. Nike athlete that is MVP Jamaica bound? All I want to know is, if so, how amenable or adaptable will she be to the Stephen Francis coaching style? I mean, to her credit, she has managed to get this far, having her name mentioned in conversations. So at some point, she must have been disciplined enough to listen to her coach's instructions and apply them. So maybe, just maybe, MVP and Stephen Francis will be the best thing for her career to get her back on track, literally. When this story first broke, I literally laughed out loud. Are we really talking about the Stephen Francis? I don't think he will. Everything about Shakari is what Stephen Francis detests the most. And he has said it time and time again that he doesn't coach athletes in the spotlight because they are not coachable. Her brashness may be good for the sport and making money, but I suspect she's a coach's worst nightmare. Stephen Francis better give her a wide berth. Stephen went on to say that Nike has always asked him to coach certain athletes from time to time, to which he has obviously declined, and I expect this time will be no different. This fiery young miss is a double-edged sword. Let's not forget that Stephen is Jamaican, and in the past, whether or not he was successful in coaching an athlete to success, his reputation as one of the greatest sprint coaches was never in question. That's because we are all Jamaicans and we know you win some, you lose some. But if he were to take on Shakiri, remember, American, and fail, then it won't be the same. The American media, I suspect, will try to ruin his reputation. They are famous for it and I don't expect them to act any differently when it comes to their savior in the female sprints. Let's face it, she's their darling. When it's an outsider, then all bets are off, similar to how we react when someone comes for a Jamaican. So with all the money and the fame that may come with coaching a Shakiri, I say he won't coach her, the same way he wasn't willing to coach a Usain Bolt. He's way too old now to be suddenly changing his spots. Well, I am somewhat interested to see if Shakira Richardson under Stephen Francis's tutelage, will blossom into the star everyone expected her to be. If one coach can turn her fledging career around, it would be the number one sprint coach in the world, Jamaica's own Stephen Francis of the MVP track club. I suppose at this point, only time will tell, and I'm eager to see. Well, guys, that's a wrap. Stay tuned for more news and views about everything track. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.